Oh man, it's time for the first video of 2019. Kind of feels weird to say, but you know, after saying MLB The Show 19 a lot, talking about the new game, it doesn't really feel that weird. So guys, I hope you had a very wonderful New Year's Eve going into New Year's. Uh, if you had a party or something, I hope you were having fun. I hope you were safe. And you know, I just hope that 2019, whatever your resolution is or whatever 2018 did to you, I just hope that 2019 is a great year for each and every one of you. You guys really changed my life in 2018 and I'm excited what 2019 is going to bring to the table. But right off the rip, I'm going to keep it 100% honest with you guys. I'm going to be 100% transparent with you to start off 2019. I feel, I don't feel good right now. And yes, New Year's Eve just happened, so you could probably guess why. But that is not going to stop me from opening up my December ranked season reward pack thing, yeah. So I had the little screen that showed my, like, oh, here are your season rewards or whatever, but I accidentally exited out of that. So the December rank season rewards and the newly announced January season rewards, I think are the exact same. You got the 97 to 98 finest player, which you can sell on the market. You got the 92 to 96 finest player. You got a 90 to 94 live series, stand usual bobbleheads or autographs, and then souvenirs, along with a 50,000 stub bonus and 1,500 tickets. So even though there's no player reward for these seasons the rewards are still very nice in terms of the stubs and the profit you can make off of it so that is what we've got for our card all right so obviously we have our world series reward pack i went ahead and i bought a 50 pack bundle because i got 50,000 stubs from the december rank season so i figured i'll just use half of those and buy 50 packs because remember the packs are half off now a 50 pack bundle is only 25,000 stubs and then we got like a little rogue this is probably like a login pack or something like that so we're gonna crack into these there are going to be a couple guaranteed diamond pulls in this world series reward pack we're gonna open up this one first then we're gonna go ahead and open up the 50 pack bundle and uh that's how we're gonna do it so here we go boys world series reward pack for the month of december can we get trout the finest cards that i want are jd martinez and jose ramirez right off the rip we're getting freddie freeman but now we get to see who the 97 to 98 is please be jd it's Mookie Betts. At least I can sell him. You know, <sighs> I have Mookie already. He's on Angel in the outfield. At least I can sell him and make some stubs off that. So that's actually good. So there's all the bobbleheads. And I think this is a 90 overall. That's looking like a Chris Sale. Okay, so I can sell him too. And then all these random souvenirs packs and another World Series nameplate. So not a bad haul. I'm going to sell this Freddie Freeman. I'm going to sell this Mookie Betts. I'm going to sell Chris Sale. And uh, we're going to just increase our stub count. I'm going to open up this little uh, standard pack right here. Just see if there's anything inside this one. Nope. All right, here we go. Set 18, the 50-pack bundle. Let's see if we can pull anything out of these toppers. Looks like, ooh, we got a gold flashback topper. Carson Smith. I don't know if I've ever actually used that card, but, you know, not really that excited over it. So we got a couple of the holiday packs, which uh, I think, who is that for again? Is that for Craig Kimbrell? I can't remember. And then of course, 50 set 18 packs. So here we go. Let's open up the holiday packs first, just to see if we can get anything good. We got the uh, fielding glove. Let's see what the next one has. I'm pretty sure the fielding glove is very inexpensive. We got the lizard skin. And last but not least, we got another lizard skin. So let's see really quickly, which one is the expensive one? Equipment. Um, holidays. It's definitely not any of the ones we pulled. We pulled the two least expensive ones. Alright, so I needed to pull that. Alright, well I can still pull the batting glove hopefully in these, but here we go. Opening up the packs, guys. 50 of these. As we're opening them, I'm just going to talk to you guys a little bit about, like, my New Year's resolutions and kind of what I want to accomplish in 2019. I'm pretty much, uh, I'm not really a guy that sets a lot of, like, numbers goals. Like, I know some people are going to be like, oh, I want to hit 100,000 subscribers. Oh, I want to hit, uh, you know, 50 million views. Just, like, all these things. And to me, I never really make those type of goals because YouTube is not really... To me, like, you can let yourself down really easily if you make those type of goals. And for me, that's just not what I want to do. I kind of just want to take YouTube as it comes to me and, and just see what... Um, what happens if I had to put a number a number on it I would love to hit a hundred thousand subscribers this year um, but like I'm not gonna be disappointed if I don't or you know like that's just kind of like if I could realistically f like think of a number that I really want to hit hundred thousand but 
I'm just, that's not the type of goal I like to set for myself. Uh, I have a kind of corny New Year's resolution, and it's the same New Year's resolution that I set for myself every single year. Um, so you guys may laugh at it, but my New Year's resolution for every year is just to be happy because there's a lot of things that can go wrong for you, especially doing a job like YouTube. Um, you know, mentally it can be really draining when everything's kind of on you and stuff like that. So just being happy, um, making sure I'm spending time with my friends and my family and just doing things that I enjoy. Um, that's just pretty much my New Year's resolution every year. I'll have some side ones like, oh, you know, lose a little bit of weight or try to clean up your, your diet habits and stuff like that. Um, but mainly for me, it's just be happy. As long as I'm, I'm, I'm healthy and I'm, I'm with my friends and just being being happy that's kind of all I really uh, all I really care about so in the comments let me know what your New Year's resolutions are for 2019 if you are a youtuber or you know an aspiring youtuber or something like that let me know um, what type of goals you want for yourself in terms of this platform and maybe even twitch too um, just let me know you know it's it's this is a type of year or the time of the year when people like to get excited about the future and kind of excited about what could possibly happen through the next 12 months so it's a I, I like New Year's some people don't like New Year's resolutions because they're like why are you waiting until the new year to start it when you could just be doing this earlier and just not procrastinating to me I never really got that. it's like if, if people want to give themselves a, a date to get their clean start or get their you know fresh fresh ideas and stuff flowing then uh, I don't know I don't know why you would drag them down for that but that's just the way I think about it by the way just randomly off topic here these packs have been horrible I don't even think we've pulled a gold other than that Carson Smith topper these packs are awful thankfully I got those three finest players that I can sell from the World Series packs because these have been atrocious and we're almost halfway through them so this is not really um a very exciting pack opening let me tell you that right now but that's why we're just talking about stuff um, any other goals Ooh, I'll tell you guys kind of my my goals this year for for baseball in general um, I definitely want to go to the all-star game again this year and the home run derby which is in Cleveland uh, so I definitely plan on doing that one way or the other last year I went um, and I did some stuff with Ramon and MLB the show at their booth at FanFest whether I do that again this year or not I just I, I'm I'm going to really really make an effort to go to the All-Star game in Cleveland because the All-Star game and the home run derby was one of the coolest experiences I've ever had being a baseball fan so I definitely want to do that again um, I'd love to go to another World Series game uh, I got to go to the Dodgers and Red Sox was it game three or game four the one that went 18 innings I went to that one with fuzzy and that was really fun um, we also went to two NLCS games at Dodger Stadium, and I mean, that kind of worked out because I live close enough to Dodger Stadium where it's an easy drive, um, and, you know, Fuzzy can just drive from Vegas over to my house and we can just go to the games, but um, I'd love to just go to as many playoff games as I can because going to regular season games is always, always going to be fun. It's always a good time, but, you know, when the atmosphere is kind of more amplified on these, you know, postseason games and stuff, it just makes it that much more fun, so I definitely want to try to get some more, uh, more postseason games. And I also would like to make a goal for myself to, at some point this year, work with, like, a player. I don't know uh, who that player would be, but, like, you know how Mark did that thing with Jabari Blash last year? I thought that was so cool. I would love to be able to do something with an actual MLB player. Obviously, I would love for it to be Trout, but that's a pretty, pretty, um, you know far goal I would think so we're gonna just hope to do something just kind of get more involved with like actual major league players and major league stadiums and stuff like that I just think that would be really really cool so that's kind of what my outlook on 2019 I'm not taking things too seriously I'm just kind of going with a laid-back approach not focusing too much on numbers and just kind of Try, trying to just put out some good content that I'm actually happy with because there were certain times this year where I definitely felt like I phoned it in in terms of content just get a video out to get a video out and not really take that extra effort to make it that entertaining and I don't really want to do that this year so I'm gonna I'm gonna try my, a little bit harder to uh, to uh, be a little bit happier with the content I'm producing and I think we'll be uh, it'll be a good year but we've gone through 42 of these packs and not one gold has come out of here these have been some of the worst packs I've ever opened in the show, and we're in January. By the way, guys, we're only like two months away from, or two and a half months away from the show 19. It's like, it's coming up, so we should start seeing some trailers and, and getting those pre-released streams popping here pretty soon, so we can start doing some, some breakdowns and some analysis and some looking forward. Old Miami, huh? Okay, we got a stadium. Look at that. 
That's pretty lit. Four packs left. And then we can go ahead and call it a day here on the show. Um, yeah. Reds jersey. Flashback Freddy. Dang, I pulled another Freddy today. Two Freddy Freeman pulls. One finest and one flashback. Um, last pack. Here we go, guys. Is there going to be a diamond in the very, very last one? I doubt it, but we'll see. Nope. Wow, those are some horrible packs. I'm not going to lie. Let me just crack open these souvenirs real quick just to see what I get. Not like I'm really going to use any of these for anything anymore. I already finished all the exchanges I needed, and yeah, I'll just open them up just so they're out of there. Souvenir. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Lit. Boom, boom. All right, so those are all the packs. Um, now, before we end this video, I'm going to go ahead and put up these cards. So the Mookie Betts, I'm going to put him up for 230k. So if somebody wants to go ahead and buy my Mookie Betts, if you were looking for one, go ahead and pick him up if you would like to. Um, and then who's the other guy I got? Freddie Freeman. He's a 93. Yeah, he's only going for 40k. This is one of the worst, finest cards. He's really not good. I'll put him up for 39,000. So if anybody would like to go buy either of those cards, be my guest. Feel free. Oh, I also got to sell my uh, Chris Sale. Red Sox, Chris Sale. Hey, he goes for 35,000. So I made a lot of stubs off this, so that pack opening wasn't as bad as it seemed, but we still didn't pull anything. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me today. I hope you all have a very, very nice 2019. The videos are going to still be coming out very consistently throughout the next couple months leading up to the show 19. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a thumbs up on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.